So LG may not be the first smartphone brand you think of, but it definitely could be because you probably wouldn't be disappointed if you got one. This is the LG G8S ThinQ and I have got to say, I am quite impressed. It has this epic technology that can read the veins in your palms to unlock or control your phone. And it has some other epic cool features, so let's get into it. As always, let's start off with what you get in the box. Everything is packaged really beautifully, nice and compact in this black box, and you actually get a lot of things as you can see, which is awesome. So first up, you get a charging brick, which is fast charging, I love that. Then your charging cable, which is USB to USB type C, and kind of your standard length. Next up, a pair of earphones is also included, and it has a really nice material feel on the cable, which I enjoy, and of course the extra tip sizes if you need. A quick start guide with all important information and your warranty, then a SIM door key, as well as a polishing cloth, which I actually really like. And then also included is this see-through silicone cover, which I really appreciate. Of course, then also the LG G8S ThinQ smartphone in all its glory. Once again, all packaged in this really small, sturdy and compact box. Now, chatting about the look and feel of this device in the hand, it feels fantastic. The build quality is great and just a premium feeling phone. However, I will say that the chin, the bezels, the notch are a little bit too thick for me. It is obviously not a deal breaker, but just something I noticed. It also comes in three different color variations. You get mirror black, mirror teal and mirror white. So this is the mirror black one. I will say it is a fingerprint magnet, but still looks fantastic. To the right hand side, you have your lock and power button as well as SIM and SD card slots. Then on the left hand side of the phone is actually a Google Assistant button and then your volume rockers. Then towards the bottom you've got an AUX jack, yay, USB-C type port, a speaker and microphone. All with a beautiful polished gloss finish giving it that something something. The display, in my opinion, is perfect. Although that notch is really big, I think it's something we've all kind of gotten used to, so it doesn't bug me that much, and you can also upsize content to fill the whole screen. Now, something to note with the G8S, although the screen is not as good as that of the G8, do not be fooled. It is still a fantastic 6.2 inch FHD plus OLED display. I played Need for Speed and some other games on this device and I thought it was brilliant. I have no complaints with the display. The brightness is also perfect. And of course, in full blown sunlight, you can see exactly what it is you're doing. I think from a manufacturer like LG, you can expect nothing but great quality when it comes to the display. Now onto the size and dimensions of this device, it is 76.6 millimeters wide by roughly 155 long. It is less than a centimeter thick and weighs roughly 181 grams. And to give you guys some context, here it is alongside the Nokia 9 PureView and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So almost the exact same size as the Nokia, but just slightly smaller than the Samsung Galaxy. I'd say it's definitely a very nice everyday kind of phone that fits comfortably in the hand. Now onto something that is really interesting and really cool about this device is how you can control it using your hand. The camera and sensors at the front of the device recognize the veins in your hand using infrared and time of flight technology so you can actually control your device using just your hands. So once you have the hand gestures set up on your LG device, you can essentially start using them. It does take a little bit of getting used to though, and I'm sure with time it'll get much better. But anyway, this is how you do it. You hold your LG phone out and your palm about so far in front of it. And then once it's registered your palm, pull back into a claw and make your selection. So if you select YouTube, as you see, YouTube opens up super quickly. And what's also really nifty is in the settings, you can decide what applications you want as options. And then on top of that, once in applications, you can do other things like play, pause, 
change the volume and take screenshots just by making your hand into a fist. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel weird and look weird doing it. Like I'm not gonna whip out my phone in the grocery store and start using air motion to control my device. But in some circumstances, I can understand how this can be really convenient when you're busy, maybe washing the dishes or there's something on your hand. Either way, I think we are going to see a lot more of this technology in the near future and I'm excited to see how it develops and grows. So just like that, guys, you can control your phone using your hand. It's quite insane, I'm not gonna lie. But like I said, it does take some getting used to, so try it out yourself and who knows, you might look really fancy with your hand gestures. Know what I'm saying? As previously mentioned, it does charge via USB Type-C, which is fantastic and very universal, of course. And then onto the battery itself, it is 3550 milliamp hours, which is just slightly bigger than the Nokia 9. And then of course comes in quite under the Galaxy S10 Plus, but that is a very premium device and is expected. It also offers fast charging and wireless Qi charging, which what's not to love, guys. Overall, with the time that I've spent on this device, I didn't find any issues and the battery did last just on a full day for me but of course it all depends on what it is that you do on your device. Onto the cameras and the G8S has an awesome array on the back. As you can see it has a super wide camera, a standard one and then a telephoto camera. It also has an 8 megapixel front facing camera with a time of flight sensor. Did you guys also know that LG was the first brand to have a wide-angled camera on their devices? And now with this device, they boast the widest angled camera on any smartphone. It has a 137 degree viewing field, which is just crazy. Here are just some pictures that I took with the device and I was really impressed with the quality, guys. As you can imagine, there are so many different settings and options to choose from. Whether it's panoramic mode, cine mode, food mode, you name it, there are so many different settings and options to choose from in order to get the best picture. Here are some shots I took on night mode and once again I was really impressed with the quality of this image especially how it brought out the light and definition in such a dark setting. What I also really love is that you can easily change the aspect ratio just by heading on over to settings. So whether you want a square image or something more for Instagram stories the options are there and then of course it also takes really great selfies and gives that whole portrait bokeh effect. You can just hold up the fist and it'll automatically take a selfie of you. Something I also really enjoy is cine photos. You basically take an image and only select one part of the image to move, just as you see here. Chatting about the software of this device and it comes pre-installed with Android 9 Pie, aside from many other things, what I really enjoy about this device is the simplicity and speed of it. Although there are some LG applications and of course the LG skin, I still found it very user friendly and easy to operate. They also have something similar to that of the edge screen menu on a Samsung and I like it. It's easy to customize, you can move it around on your screen and just access some applications and shortcuts really quickly. It also has a screen recording option in the notifications panel which is the bomb.com. Every phone needs to have that in my personal opinion. Another quick and convenient thing you can do is just knock on your phone twice to open up the lock screen and just see what notifications you have open or double tap. You don't necessarily need to knock. Recent applications can be accessed really quickly and of course you also have the split screen applications where you can look at two various applications at the same time just as you see me doing here and I also really like that if you just swipe across the menu at the bottom it goes into one-handed mode and you can move that anywhere around on your screen. This device does allow for expandable memory, but does also have the dual SIM option. So you can either decide to have one SIM card and one SD card in your device, or you can do away with the SD card and have a secondary SIM card. The choice is obviously yours and then on board it has 6 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage. Sometimes not all countries offer the dual SIM option, so just check that before purchasing your device. The G8S has a speaker at the top there in the notch and then also at the bottom of the device. But it has this interesting setting where if you go into the notifications panel and you toggle on echo playback, it actually dims the screen so you can hear the echo playback better. But to be honest, I didn't hear any difference. So that to me was a little bit gimmicky and definitely something I don't think I'll use in the future. But I do like that there's the two speakers to get that stereo kind of surround sound audio and let us not forget that they still included the old jack that makes me very happy. 
Some other features include the fingerprint sensor, which I was very pleasantly surprised with. It is super fast and super accurate. I've not had a single issue yet with using the fingerprint sensor. I also can't believe how quick it is and the placement is not too bad. Sometimes I do find I'm touching the cameras, but overall that's just probably something that comes down to the size of my hand and how I hold my device. Another thing you can also do is unlock your phone using your palm again by scanning the veins and everything within your hand. However, this feature I found very frustrating and very hard to get right. Again, I don't think I'd use this in public either, but the option is there. So this is a pretty good phone in its price range. Obviously, there are some premium competitors out there to check out, but don't forget to like and subscribe or check out my other videos right over here and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!